Introducing the new and improved Dr. Brown's 123 JPEG. Yes, previously it was only available when using Photoshop CS. But now, here today, it's available in Adobe Photoshop CS2. Yes, it's new and approved and absolutely out of this world. Let's start here at the top. Of course, as in the past, you can select images in the bridge. As you see here, I have five images selected. I could, of course, have hundreds of images selected and process them all at the same time. Now, keep in mind, I started this from within Adobe Bridge. You can also launch this directly from Adobe Photoshop and directly address a single folder of images. However, when you select images in the bridge, you can be a bit more selective on which of the images from within a folder are processed. Now, to number two. You can select the destination for these images, but wait, what's this? You can now add a subfolder within the destination folder. And what? You can name the folders yourself. Why, that is remarkable. Now, moving down to step number three, what's new here? Whoa, look over here. You can now choose the different settings here for the resize to fit. Why, I can choose pixels, percent, inches, centimeters, millimeters, and points and picas. Why, that's really, really incredible. But what's this? Resolution. I've always wanted the ability to adjust the resolution right there, right now, right inside of this new Dr. Brown's 123 JPEG. You can set it for the different types of JPEGs you're exporting. What? What's this? Run action? If I check this box right here, it will then run the action which you've identified down here at the base. Of course, you can select your action and then run it for each of these individual exported versions of JPEG. That's new. That's amazing. So I can go through here, set this all up, and make different versions of JPEGs. Now, what about this? Can I save these settings? Because I might have different styles of settings for different clients. Why, yes, you can. By clicking this Save button right over here, you can then name your file and save it to wherever you'd like and keep files and load them back in for different types of exported JPEGs. Wow! Why, this is an amazing new release that you have to give a try the next time you are exporting images. I'm going to select the Run right now and process these images. And when we take a look at the desktop, you'll notice my three folders which I've identified and named uniquely the way I wanted to name them. Why, that is just downright amazing. To install Dr. Brown's services, which includes Dr. Brown's 123 JPEG, you will locate the Easy Installer, which is available on the CD from which you may be watching this fine tutorial, or from my website, www.russellbrown.com. Look for the Easy Installer, run that before you open your applications. Then, when you start your applications again, you will notice that Dr. Brown's services will be available. Give it a try the next time you want to process a lot of images easily and quickly. You've just seen another episode of The Russell Brown Show.